how many backups at this rate? Well, we've got three we co-hosts, go. which is the norm. <laughs> hi, hi. Hoi, hoi. Yep. Silver is dead and tired. Goldie is moving. By retrospect, I believe Key is moving as well. Yep. Yeah, they're moving in. Together. According to her Twitter, are they um unpacking. Lots and lots of unpacking. Oh my god, fucking artistic passion, why? Why? What, what, what you doing? Yeah, basically she saw me visit her DA because I'm ever so frustrated that she has more watchers than me. <laughs> and she tries going up to me saying, like, why don't you watch me? It's like, fuck you. Maybe she's, going sub, <laughs> maybe she's going sub for sub, that's probably why. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah Yo, no, what up, horn dogs? Go hey. I have chocolate. <laughs> That's nice. I want chocolate. Yeah, I gotta get me an ice cream sandwich before we start this. Actually, I have Reese's peanut butter cups. The yep. little That's tiny nice. ones. <laughs> Reese's meanies. Yep, those are the shit. But yeah, just friggin' blah. After it the, bothers me. Uh, and then she tried using, like, the whole crocodile tears thing. Like, I'm sorry. It's like, yeah, no, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but something reminded me of this story. My boss has apparently been watching this. Um, Actually, here's the exact conversation right here. <laughs> my boss has been Why? watching an episode of Family Guy. And it's the episode where Peter and Quagmire go, in, go into, like, a two-man musical tour and they write their own music and all that shit Uh huh. and for some reason Peter's song how did he put it it's like trains on the ocean boat on the track or something like that I don't know he starts the song off by saying yesterday I learned what the difference is between a train and a boat I wrote this song before that (laughs) oh my god I have no idea why that popped in my head just now. Random shit is random. Indeed. Exactly. Why on? Why on? Ugh. Oh, I pulled the question. Where the fuck is Lucy? I don't know. He said he I may tried or may not texting him. I tried calling him. He's not online. I think he's at work or something. I don't fucking know. Oh, Plan B. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask him. <laughs> I'm cool with this. Just gig donut. Hey Hello? donut. Hey. We're, we're, oh, we're, who the hell is this nerd? We're, we're oh, interviewing hi, Sapphire Heart Song. Would you like to come along for the ride? <laughs> I'm sure. Why not? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we're good to go. I don't know. Hi, Sapphire. Hi, Donut. Hey, you up? I ship it. Hey, right. <laughs> the, oh, what's, shoot. What's the kind of... What's blue frosting called? Oh, God. She's asking me if I'm mad. <sighs> Probably. Just tell her to go away. Tell her that you're I being interviewed. I had that fuck you point. Just yeah. tell her that you tell her tell her that you're being interviewed for a King of Limbo. Yes, I'm hawking this. This person sounds right like that. This person sounds like they got a serious case of senpai notice me syndrome. Yeah, she no, yeah, just, tell, just tell her you're talking to FNGR for for the podcast right now, and you can't talk anymore. I'm talking fix to FNGR it. and his esteemed girlfriend right now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Or better half. Like, like, oh my god. All right. Oh, terrible. <laughs> like, fuck you. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> let's let's get this ball rolling. This is FNGR. Welcome to Limbo Podcast. Joined by the flying co-hosts. Kichi FIM. Yo. The Burning Donut. Hey. I know Hi Senchi. What's up, bitches? And this week's returning defending champion, defender of analysis, <laughs> Sapphire Heart Song. God help me. I think I broke the record. Because it's been what, like three months since the um, video was announced that I won. Okay, that's it. Pile it on. 
Um, I kept <laughs> yeah. thinking I was going to screw up your name for whatever reason. I don't know. <laughs> That's because of the last one, right? <laughs> Probably. I don't even remember what I said at the very beginning. I studied it today. Um... What's the best thing that's happened to you this month? The best thing that's happened to me this month? Yes. I finally got out of fucking college. That's great Yay. news. <laughs> Do you have if I can ask for a question year. to go off of that, then, what did then you graduate Then I have to go back in like three months later. So you're on summer vacation? Yes. Uh, Although, uh, not really. My dad wants me to get a job. Uh, oh, but what's, oh well. the, what's the worst thing that happened this month? Did you graduate? No, Your no, dad wants you to get a job. <laughs> No, God, no. I'm a freshman. Well, the, the way you said it made me think you graduated, so that's Oh, fleshy. <laughs> the worst thing. Uh, yeah, my dad telling me to get a job. <laughs> yeah. Fresh fish. We catch him, you buy him. Uh, what's been your uh, favorite episode of season six so far? Well... In order to get this featured on EQD, no second prances, because I actually enjoyed the episode and stuff. It, I don't know. Trixie. Yes, we all liked second prances. Oh, all yeah. Of <laughs> all of us. It was sure. the greatest episode. <laughs> best episode ever. Yeah. Hi, Sophisto. Holy. Indeed. What was your least favorite episode of the season? Least favorite episode? Uh... Don't let a fire. Fuck you, no. Uh, Rainbow <laughs> Dash, I'm guessing. I'm not a Rainbow Dash fan, but even so, this episode made me fucking cringe. It was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like Newbie Dash. I don't. I didn't I'm know sorry. It. It, there's, there's I'm no sorry, right. I have a disagreeing Hulk, opinion. Hulk, there's no right or wrong answer, and we're not going to argue with the guest. Exactly. Was, I didn't think uh, I, I, I didn't like, agree. I'm just saying I like. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I didn't. I didn't think you were gonna fill in for Ryan since he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck is that um, supposed to be? Nothing well, it's Sapphire. I- ignoring the uh, the the cringiest part where she's impersonating her friends was the yeah, episode that was... bad. If you take that part out. I would have been just bored if that were the case. It's like, okay, it's a Rainbow Dash episode. Move on. Okay. So it would have, it would have just been boring rather than just like like cringeworthy. Wait, wait a minute. Yes. I have to get her. I have to get her in some trouble here. What do you <laughs> think? What do you think of people who have Rainbow Dash as their favorite? <laughs> Anyone specifically? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that's on them. They like Rainbow Dash. That's cool. All right. Who who's your favorite again, Sapphire? I forget for point of reference. Thirty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, you and nice. you're gonna get along fine. <laughs> What's your? Well, the friggin' voice actor who plays Rarity you recently noticed a picture I posted on Twitter. It's like, okay, I'm glad you like the picture. Now stop favoriting so that my notifications will stop. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, 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 that's terrible when that happens. Yeah, how, <laughs> how, dare the, how dare those voice actors <laughs> notice my work? I have better things to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, part of that makes me want to skip down to this question that Kichi gave me. Let me find oh, it. God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so here it is. Kichi may not forget this. She's very overworked right now. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Kichi FIM asks, what was it like working with the man, the myth, the legend, the true renaissance man, Brawny Buck? <laughs> she said that she, she, well, she, I don't remember asking Kichi said that question. she couldn't keep up. <laughs> She said she couldn't keep up with his power level. Perhaps you had better luck. I don't remember this question at all, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> are, it's like, are you putting words in someone's mouth? No, I, oh. I must be terribly overworked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, in all seriousness. With Bronny, it was cool. I followed the rules and stuff until he got mad that my lines were in. Incons- Actually, no, not my lines. My lines were fine, other than they were a little too loud. Wait, wait, wait. It Let was... me predict. Let me predict what he was. Was it your poses? Yes. Uh, yeah, I had that problem, too. I was just like, go away. I was waiting for my you to say something like... My poses were apparently inconsistent, even poses? though they were all the same size. Yeah. Just different leg and faces. Yeah, I resized we... all of my pictures for him, and it was still like, oh, they're not right. I was like, go away. This is what you get. <laughs> Like, fuck you! Oh, well. How was the writing process? 
the writing process eh, it was a little rocky at first. Like I kept sort of like um trying to force a joke because it was sort of like an on the spot situation. Like I had that weird anxiety to where like uh like you know how you want to think of a joke when it's right there but you can't think of it. Brain and you parts. know how like you get yeah, yeah. And, like pause the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like, I kept it's like, um, sort of um, doing I, that at certain points. Uh, oh, God. I was it just wasn't there until he had that. left the room and I had the episode on hand on my computer that it's like, okay, let me get some work ahead. It's like, oh, this is funny. I can write this down. That was <laughs> the only time I had a good joke. Aww. Oh, yeah, the best writing. <laughs> when he wasn't around. <laughs> the best writing is always when you can't work on it. I was just sitting there thinking to myself when Donut was stammering. I was like, it's going to be counterintuitive not to edit that part out because that was a point to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, what's your biggest concern at BronyCon? My biggest concern at BronyCon? Whether or not I come home broke. Ah, uh. that is a concern. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's not a concern. That's a surety, madam. <laughs> well, considering freaking well, manga common had to make me buy $260 ticket when we were originally going for like uh, $200 in gas. Ugh. Yeah. It's, it's stressful because I've never been to the uh, airport before. And while it is very efficient, I'm still pretty nervous about that. Yep. Actually, isn't all that bad. No, you'll you'll do fine. Say for okay. for for BronyCon to be a magical for BronyCon to be a magical experience. You there, I had to screw up myself there. What do you need to have happen, bare minimal? I need to be able to hug people I like. And in this case, since I've gotten, and I know I'm going to be striking my own ego if this actually happens, <laughs> at least one person asking me for their autograph. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's, that's terrible to say and so egocentric, but it's like, that would be so cool. And I would be like hugging the one fan that likes me. Well, I'm going to offer you like me. I'm going to offer Peachy a shiny, crisp dollar to ask you for her autograph. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to get the chance to hug Silver Senpai? Eh, he's not really Senpai anymore. I know him way too well. And since I'm going, to be, uh, vending, I'm going to be vending at his table, like when he's off to like panels, same with Lightning Bliss. So yeah, I'm going to be hugging his head and petting his... <laughs> I Are will you hug be him and love him and call him George. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic. Are you, are... Same thing with Bliss and other people that I can't think of on the top of my head who are going to be there. So, 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 so basically you're going to be like a table bitch for a whole bunch of people, aren't you? <laughs> nah, just those two. <laughs> I thought it was booth bitch, damn it, but whatever. <laughs> well, okay. Well, it, it depends. A lot of people use it either way, so it's like... Well, yeah, I, yeah no, I understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be that one girl, like, when, you know, when I'm not, like... Your booth sitter. An eye on a, you know, <laughs> I'm yeah. going to be that person who's like, oh my gosh, I know you hug me. It's all like, oh, hey, I, I, I came to this table to talk to Silver... Qu oh, who is this? Oh. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> just just have a sign that says out to panel or out to lunch or something and replace yeah. it. Yeah. Like, have, like, a little doll or something in his chair. <laughs> so, like, this is Silver Quill. Didn't you know he's just an animatronic little, little, oh, little you know plushie what? here? No, no, you Silver should get, Quill like... Silver Quill does have the plushie. That's exactly no. what she was going to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll keep Sapphire. an eye on Silver Quilted in that case. <laughs> yes. Keep an eye on Silver Quilted. I'm sure Lightning Bliss also has a plushie. <laughs> yeah, she does. I just imagine they get back from like doing a a, a a panel or something like that, and there's Sapphire fucking around, shipping the plushies together, and she's like, <laughs> she takes them off the table, fast looking both ways. I was not shipping your plushies. <laughs> like, what? 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 Now kiss. I love you, Silver Quill. I love All you, so Silver Quill. Quill shows up like, what's going on here? Like, <laughs> nothing. nothing. Uh, I'm just, oh, Sapphire Spike. What? Spike from I, I got a Canterlot wedding where Spike yeah 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 Canterlot yeah. wedding are we gonna be calling Sapphire Spike? <clears throat> oh come on, that would just be mean. That would be mean. Jeez. Nah, considering how Spike has been this season, I I wouldn't mind. Yeah. 
Actually, That's I good. have a related question for that. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Go on. <clears throat> I've been curious about this a little bit myself. In the My Little Pony universe, what are some of your favorite cannon-loaded ships? Cannon ships. And they're like two? Yeah, just characters of cannon, not the OCs. Well, uh, I definitely ship Rary Light. Um... I don't really have that many ships I like. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, I ship Spike and Ember now. They're they're cute. I how like them. How do you feel about Starburst? I'd I'd ship them. Yeah. I ship them. You don't you don't have to go with the flow there, but um, <laughs> if you had a if you had a bigger budget, um, what's something you'd invest in to uh, improve your channel? Hmm. A new computer because mine. Currently, like, especially during the summer, oh my god, it has a tendency to overheat, (laughs) and when it overheats, it just dies, and then I have to turn it back on, and then wait, like, ten minutes for everything to load up. Have you, uh, have you tried blowing compressed air into it? No. That will help a lot. It it will, but it'll still catch up with you, though. Yeah, it will. Is it a desktop or laptop? Yeah, 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 that was my next question. Yeah. I do have a, a laptop cooler, but you know. Yeah. Okay. That and, you know, new computer equal new shiny equal. I could probably do some stuff like live streaming if oh. that yeah. would, that would be cool. <laughs> would you figure yeah. out uh, Would you actually uh put more time or effort into it because I've noticed a lot of people I know who are like, "Oh yeah, I got a new computer. I can't wait to put out more work." And the first thing I hear back is GTA is now set to optimal settings. <laughs> if I had the money, yeah, I would like have that work done. But I don't. I'm I've been set for BronyCon because, you know, I've been kind of saving for that for like a year. Same. So, so now, just out of curiosity, is that your only convention uh, goal yeah. is to go to BronyCon? Yeah, that's my only convention. Now, what have you been to any other cons? Well, I've been to the uh, one place, Colossal Con. Remember, it was the uh, anime convention. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like the one in Sandusky, Ohio, that has like you know the water park place. Cleveland rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do you have any concerns with sharing a bed with that big, young, strapping lad, Manga Common? <laughs> oh my! I ship it. You better no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, her heart's all a flutter. Oh. I bet she's flushing like a fucking beat. She's like, you guys, come on. <laughs> Stop. I hate you all. Yeah. <laughs> I, <hate you. laughs> I don't think she wants to answer. Yeah, we'll move on. And yeah. Mind yeah, yeah. Cases. You Damn. can always bleed the fifth. All right, that's fine. So basically, you're uh, going to give me and Kichi a code to go for a walk for a good hour. <laughs> Three coughs means fuck off. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> like, hey, why don't you go? Gu- why don't you guys go see what's going on in the vendors? I, I don't know what Kichi's going to be like. Well, you two like, well, damn, me and my boyfriend sure would like money for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I would pull that. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, it's I like, just spent, I bucks. spent go my away. daily budgets. I was like, I was like, it'd be sure nice to go and get some ice cream right now. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Here's five bucks. Go away. <laughs> this is yeah. you were shaking down. So, your um, teammates. <laughs> so, so as an artist, are you like bringing any prints or anything to try to counteract some of the financial burden of the of the con, or are you just like going for fun? Originally, the plan was to go for fun, but maybe I'll try making a little bit of money if I'm uh, at Silver and uh, Lightning Bliss's table. I don't know. I'd have to ask them if I could do that. <laughs> well, 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 one thing you can do is just like you know, just like sell like five dollars sketches or something. That's usually a pretty decent way to, you know, as lo- as long as you're going to be at the booths anyway. Just be like, yeah, um, you know, you want five dollars for a sketch? I'll just you know whip you up something. Oh yeah, I could do them. Yeah, I'm yeah, turning yeah. people, in, turn people into ponies. Yeah. <laughs> or do caricatures. I could people do like that. five dollar sketches. It would. It wouldn't yeah. really take long for me. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, hey, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, it's not like it's not like everyone who goes to the con has a OC or original character or something that they might like seeing drawn. <laughs> <laughs> is there a anyone you feel is underappreciated in the fandom, whether it be a reviewer, an artist, or otherwise? Oh, uh, I have a lot of people actually. Let me let me go, my DA. Well. I can definitely say that Tricky Fox is one of the un- underappreciated like um, analysts in the community. He does really great work, and it's totally I'm totally not saying this because we recently did a collab that you were in. Ha ha. Oh no, yeah, uh, I, was, I was just coming. <laughs> I was like, we got to start pushing Tricky more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the a uh, few artists are like a uh, Smoet Lion, like the guy who makes all the uh, con badges for, um, you know, I know the analyst. Like he's going to be making me one for uh, Brony Con, and all in return he asks is like for my uh, promotion, which I'm that, doing right now. <laughs> the ones that they look like they're kind of like woodcuts or something like that. Eh, yeah, they. They give off this, like, a uh, African feel. Then again, the guy is really into Lion King, as far as I'm concerned. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, I've met him at I Burnham. think I know yeah. who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Uh, Isaac Collar, I really like him. He's a cool guy. He's also known as, like, a uh, Toon Critic's main tell card artist. Mm, yeah. I don't think he's oh, yeah. Sweet and I love him. He's so cute. Yeah. A little dragon. Yeah, he's a, nice, he's a nice guy. Let's see, there's also Spirited Rainbow, she, her art is cute, and I see some potential. Also like yeah, there are a lot of people who I believe are underappreciated. Although there is this one Japanese artist I came to found, I don't really... Let me grab her real quick if I can find her. Uh. I think <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Oh, you do? <laughs> Yeah, is she, is she the one that did, like, the, the animated GIFs and stuff? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm talking oh, okay. about someone different. Her name starts with an O, O, O. Where is she? Uh, <laughs> no, not old Bab Scribbler. Shit, what's her? I'm really horrible. I, I only knew, like, a She has a lot of very light fan art. Oh, Ono Fuji is her name. Ono Fuji. Well, just make I mean, sure to... Know. Yeah, Uno Fuji, make sure to just... You don't have to do it right now. Make sure to drop that. Well, I'm looking at her right now. She has, like, 66 watchers, and just... That's it? Get this. Well, again, the th- yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll include that time. Hang on, standard. my shitstorm art has 150 watchers, and she only has, like, 60? Well, pile it on. <laughs> Look, screw it, I'll take it. I follow her on Twitter, even though I have absolutely no idea what she's saying. Oh, I think wow. I know this artist. Oh, this is so pretty. pretty. This mm-hmm. is actually really good. Yeah, only 66 watchers. Yeah, I know this artist. Once again, she mostly focuses on a uh, rarey light. But is I really this really like is it. this is this watercolor or I don't know. I can't tell what medium she uses. Well, well it, it it looks it's like digital. primarily digital. But it maybe just it, maybe it does, like maybe it's like it digital watercolor or something. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. But yeah, Japanese girl does that. I love it. Japanese girl, that's what she's going to be dubbed for the rest of the time. <laughs> it's like, hello, Japanese girl. She's like, no, who started this? On the Fuji, I'm... God <laughs> damn you, Sapphire Hardy song. The Japanese girl. <laughs> Only she's going to scream in Japanese. So I got steamrolled. I do have a question. Go ahead. Oh, yeah? And this is pertaining to your art. You share a lot of work in progress shots in your chats. How long I'm do you sorry. usually take to work on a picture from start to finish? Um, that's a well, terrible let's see. question to ask an artist. Jeez. Oh, what do you want about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Sketching usually doesn't take long, at least like 10 minutes at the most, depending on how complex the sketch is. It could go on for longer. Inking is like my most tedious part like you know all the control z's of trying oh, yeah. to get one line right control z's a digital arts best friend yeah when you're trying to do it in one swipe it takes like an hour <laughs> <laughs> uh and coloring that's the best part i usually just like a flat line like i cov- i color it behind the art i then like a 
Shield yeah. hotline. Get the defibrillator. <laughs> well, all, all you really got to do to like make that be quick is like uh, do the whole like like select all image when you use the paint bucket, and then it's like yeah, fill, fill, fill. All right. And, uh, uh, <laughs> I I don't like doing the paint bucket because then it makes like the wa- the lines look incomplete, like over top each other. That's why oh, you yeah. paint underneath the lines. You'll, you'll yeah, have that's to what forgive I'm talking Donald. He's not an expert of line weight or anything like that. <laughs> no, oh, you no, use a paint no, bucket yeah. and you paint underneath the lines to get the, the color smoothed out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I do that. Then I go back to the line art. And, um, you know, that oh, really? one that usually, like, uh, selects everything. And then mm-hmm. I go down to the paint, delete that, hoping that none of the uh, line art goes through, like, you know, how... When you miss that one line, everything is gone. <laughs> uh, it's hard to explain. <laughs> no, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right. I've got yeah, move. then I just lock my layers and then do the shading and whatnot. That's the right, best so, part. So uh, have you ever done much uh, like, like traditional medium stuff? I used to do a lot of traditional mediums. I have not gone back since. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I can link that right here to like my old. <laughs> I can link to my old traditional art that I used to do. It was mostly like anime and Pokemon. I didn't really get into ponies until like yeah. a while after oh. the analysis. <laughs> Shit, that killed one of my. That killed one of my questions. Um, I'm sorry. have you ever? <laughs> Have you ever been inking a traditional art and then you instinctively go to push Control Z and it's not there? <laughs> no, because I haven't really done any <laughs> traditional art since, um, you know, since I got my tablet and all that. Oh, uh, well, I'll tell you, it happened to me there's, once. It was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> there's my old um, traditional art. It's shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I like my new shit, and I still call it shit. I'm pretty sure some of this is actually better than what I got. Oh, my. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I knew nothing about art. <laughs> so yeah. I will have to de- defer to my contemporaries like Donut. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sapphire, how did, yes. you, uh, how did you, you start making art? Did you start with drawing, or did you start with a good old MS Paint, or... I start started with? like drawing like in middle school back when I first got into the Sonic fandom. Oh boy, was I bullied the crap for that. <laughs> then then I started drawing Pokemon and got made fun for that, but then some girl eventually saw some people bullying me over it and was like, at least she can draw. And then I just started drawing. And then I got this um old book Eventually, like when I had gotten into anime like a year later called Manga Artist Academy. And then I've, I've been seen drawing since. I've read that I book. I have that book, actually. <laughs> I, Is it I the used one to. with the panda? I, I never bought it, so. but I have seen <laughs> it. It was a uh, Shoujo Jump, uh, sh- no, Shoujo Beat uh, yeah. version Manga Artist Academy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I. I, I might have read it. I don't think I owned that one, but it was I like... have it somewhere. Where the hell did I put it? Uh, there it is. Let me, uh, you know, it's this when the screen shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Need to. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah I've seen yeah. that. Yeah, that I've, I've, I've seen it. Yeah. I have like three different books of just how to draw anime and all kinds of shit like that. How I, I learned how to draw. Oh. Draw, draw, draw across and draw the rest of it. Nice. Circle, circle, dot, dot. I have a goodie shirt. Uh, yes. have, you, uh, have you read very much of the How to Draw Manga series? Um, <laughs> How to Draw Manga, I think I have. I definitely remember a uh, old book that I have over there in the corner, How to Draw. Hang on. I believe it was for like a copic markers when I first got those. Why would she ah. need to draw manga? She's dating him. Ha ha ha! My God. Badum. Okay, I got them. Yeah, it was a uh, how to draw manga like a uh, for copic markers. Oh, nice. Yes. 
Um, have you, uh, do you have any like non manga related books that you uh, draw influence from? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Anime is the <laughs> shit. What are you talking about? So, so I guess no one here has read Draw Comics the Marvel way. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a total weeb. I used to at least be a total weeb. Yeah. Sapphire, how much Japanese have you taught yourself? Oh, God. Not very much. <laughs> okay, well, then you're not that far gone. You're not my level of weeb. <laughs> No, no, I used to, oh, I used to uh, be in Chinese class. That's the closest to weeb I've gotten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I could remember my own damn training, I wanted to rattle something off, but I can't remember what some of the terminology is. Shit. For what? Like Japanese or? Yeah. I, I was going to I was gonna see if I could throw something at Kichi and see what she said in response. Well, I can throw something at you. Well, Nina. <laughs> I don't speak any Chinese. <laughs> it's like we don't speak that language around here. Tamashio, <clears throat> Tamashio. Yeah, like, Ni hao. Yeah. Yeah, Ni hao ma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ni hao esse. Ni hao esse. What? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> let you off the hook before I fucking space out here. <laughs> who is who has the best hair in the fandom excluding yourself, OC or otherwise? <laughs> hmm. Who has the best oh, hair? Uh Nikki V. It's full of and I want to pet it. Oh, you've seen the real Nikki V's hair, huh? Yes. I also <laughs> think your hair is the best hair thing. <laughs> oh right then. <laughs> also beard. Be sure to keep your beard. I don't care if Kichi's around, I'm going to smoosh it. Well, We'll burn that. Burn I ship Safi and FNGR's <laughs> hair. Nah, I don't. <laughs> All right, then. That's a thing. Not FNGR himself, just his hair. All right. Okay. I like my hair, <laughs> and I'm keeping it, so. <laughs> I've used this Oh, yeah. I've, I've started using He's this listening. question since oh. Cat Avengers podcast. If you could steal one person's talent, who would it be? Hmm. If I could steal one person's talent. Yep, no, no, let, me, let, me, let me tack on this part here, too. You're stealing it, they're losing it, and they're going to die. But <laughs> you get oh, to have their talent. Why? <laughs> that is sick and twisted, Anthony. Why do they have to die? <laughs> well, not, they're, they're going to not be able to sustain themselves without it. That's why I always thought that it's funny when people like snap right to I was like, oh yeah, I'm taking their talent. <laughs> Aqua Galaxy. Who? Hang on. <laughs> Leak, please. Hang on, I got her deviant art. Oh, I think I remember you mentioning this one before. Who yeah, it was during was. my first podcast. <laughs> Just take a look at the scrolls gallery, then you'll see Aqua why. Aqua Galaxy, okay. Aqua Galaxy. I, vaguely I wasn't quite hearing the first word right. It is pretty. That is Aqua very Galaxy. bright. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, pretty, that's though. one person I'd steal, like, talent-wise. <laughs> That is very skilled. Straight sure. to the commission pricings. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> it's expensive as fuck. Backgrounds are 40 it, to 120 points. It's. It, oh, okay. Wait, points. 40 to 120 dollars. Points aren't really yeah, all 20, that. 120 dollars. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, the backgrounds I mean, are always expensive. Yeah. She definitely looks like mind? she puts a lot of effort into her backgrounds, but it's. Yeah, like, it looks like her yeah. art is worth it. Oh, yeah. $120? Well, okay. If if, if you have the money to spend, then it's worth it. Well, it says 40 to 120. I guess that you're really getting the... Oh, oh. That is a a pretty big range. Game of Thrones kind of, like, (laughs) detail if you make it hyper-complicated. Epic saga, kind of. Yeah. It's like 40 bucks just to draw... this girl's talent? Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty good. Like, so I was like, can I have talent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, look. The first comment on her page is, you have been hugged. <laughs> oh, my. In in honor of having a Christmas-themed episode, what is your favorite holiday memory? My favorite holiday memory? Uh, that's a good question. I don't really remember the holidays much. All right, that was another one. We'll move past that. 
What, can you remember a worst holiday memory? <laughs> that was what I was gonna ask next. Worst holiday yeah. memory. When I got when I got no money when I was desperate for it the most and I had a tantrum. Because uh, I have a selfish, selfish child. <laughs> what you say I got nothing I wanted and no money? Coal in your stockings. Ah. Uh. And I was actually being extra good that year. <laughs> Doing all I could be sunshine rainbows. Have you seen any Nothing. good have you seen any good anime lately? And if so, any new waifus? Or husbandos. Yeah. As of late, no, I have not been watching that much anime. I I should be ashamed. My title of anime Christy should be stripped. <laughs> <laughs> seen any good movies lately? Well, I was supposed to be seeking uh, Civil War today, but that's going to be scheduled for tomorrow. I'll let you know then. <laughs> uh, it's oh, good. No, I hear it's good. It is good. Say, any big projects you're working on that you want to plug right now? The crystalline review that I still have yet to do, where I become the princess of bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds like a good thing to be a princess oh, yeah. of, I So you're going to be Cadence? <laughs> oh. actually, no, actually, no. I kick Cadence out of her castle. All right, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm also... Uh, Lightning Bliss and I are doing a sequel to Sapphire Meets Lightning Bliss, my most viewed video. Nice. Nice. Yes. Hey, I think Kichi originally came up with this question. I forget. She can correct me on this. If you could give someone Princess Celestia's style hair, who would it be? It wasn't my question. <laughs> like the, the, the flowing, shimmery, kind of like wavy look. Mm. Uh, you could slap that on someone's OC and it would like animate. Is it? Like, is it? <laughs> Is that technically going Pony Saiyan? I suppose. Someone's like, could I use Luna? Yes. If you really need to get it in a different <laughs> color, you can, you can use Luna. <laughs> but the point is, you want the alicorn flowing epic hair. Who could you slap that on? Actually, for some reason, I want to see Burning Donut with that hair. <laughs> <laughs> it would work. <laughs> that would work. My God. Oh. Oh, I, I want to see a Burning Donut with flaming glowing hair. <laughs> I want to see Dr. Wolf with that hair. Actually, actually, that sounds really cool. Actually, I wonder what it would be like if Silver had that, because... Oh my god, he he would rock that. (laughs) He would just be like, I look fabulous! Yes. Then you would have A and Y and Golden Fox looking all jealous in the corner. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Meep. I don't want to see Anthony with that hair, too. (laughs) (laughs) A changeling with bullshit Celestia hair. No, this is going to be an absolute life lesson for everyone listening. When you need to get away from someone really annoying, what's your favorite lie? Ooh. Mm. Well, it's not really a lie, but I usually like to stand up and say, and yell at their face, we're not friends anymore, and then walk away. Well, that's direct. That is direct. <laughs> that's usually the best way to do it. <laughs> or usually, I don't know you. Go away. I don't need to. I don't need to lie. I'm. I'm heartless, despite being Sapphire Heart song. <laughs> yep, we so got your Discord name now. Mm-hmm. Sapphire Heartless. I got tired of people giving a bad answer when I said, what's your favorite thing about America? So what's your favorite thing about Canada? My favorite (laughs) thing about Canada? Yeah. Maple syrup. Yeah. That's (laughs) racist. (laughs) They have have a maple syrup reserve over there. Oh, yeah, and Canadian bacon. So ham. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This one comes from, I think, Ryan. Tell me how you feel about Pokemon and explain why it's objectively better than Digimon. (laughs) Well, because of personal reasons, a.k.a. the fact that I've always grown up on Pokemon, I was born on the day it came to America, I... America. (laughs) Okay. That and the creatures are cuter. Pokemon are cuter than Digimon, I will admit. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> I like them both. 
That's an objective opinion, but okay. If, if you're going number by number, there are more cute Pokemon than cute Digimon. Oh, you're right. I'm just being a contrarian. Yeah. <laughs> that and there's more variety in Pokemon, especially now that there's going to be a new seventh generation. A new seventh as opposed to the old one? Yeah, yeah. They, they had to get rid of that, that, that old seventh generation. They need something fresh. Yes. Something New they had fresh, to get rid of Generation 6 after not even announcing the uh, X or Z. They didn't even ex- announce Z. That makes you know, I wonder if they'll give like Trubbish a new uh, evolution and make it a trash can. <laughs> Mega Garbodor becomes a trash can. <laughs> it, it then has a shield made they have cr- trash cans and the yes. them. Basically, he'll become Arsk- Oscar the Grouch. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an irrational fear or phobia of anything? Yeah, just bugs in general. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel about like, spiders? I'm that I person who... You are. I'm that person who tries to smack it with a very, 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 very long broom. In order to kill it. Dear Sapphire, you need to just get long distance bug spray so you can snipe it from a distance. You're you're more durable than Ryan is. Ryan will come get his dad to go kill it. (laughs) He will. (laughs) Then again, he lives in Texas. Actually, actually, I do that too. (laughs) I do that too with my mother. I've done it. (laughs) I'm not going to lie. Well, geez, my my mom is usually the one who's had to come and get me. It's like, jeez. <laughs> I've just learned to keep bug spray in my room. That way, if we're I not, see a spider, I can kill it. We're not hippies. Yeah, kids, yeah. I <laughs> I really hate bugs, especially the big ones. Especially when there is a wasp on your computer that you can't get after it oh, lands hey, on hey, your whoa, face. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, yeah. Wasps are an entirely different species. Oh, yeah, no, species. no, no, no. I don't, I don't deal with wasps. Yeah. I That's have to call someone nope, for a wasp. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Mom, kill it, kill it, kill it. Have you ever been and stung? Especially when it's on your friggin' computer. Ugh. You ever been stung? I have been. In the roof of my mouth. Ah, oh, how? Oh. Well, it was... It was a very long time ago. I was like eight or nine. And I was at a friend's place... And they had, like, a wasp nest or some sort of beehive in their neighborhood. And he had, like, a, like, while I was there, I had, like, a a drink that was, like, an orange soda type of thing. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, Basically, after I left, after my brother had to walk me home and whatnot, he chased after me saying, like, oh, Christy, you forgot this and whatnot. Little did he or I know... There was a bee in there. Oh, Oh, God. Yeah, imagine having to drink your drink while you're walking, and then suddenly a bee stung's in the middle of your mouth, and then you spit it out. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I feel it's hard. That is a world of suck that I can't even begin to imagine. (laughs) And if it's it's a bee, and if it was a bee, that means the stinger stuck in there. Oh, no, it was out. Oh, God. Oh, okay, good. Lucky for me, <laughs> I had to hit up before, you know, like, um, you know. <laughs> oh, and, oh. and after that, I was lucky enough to uh, get 4th of July themed popsicles when I got home after crying. Oh. I oh. cannot imagine how much that hurt, so. Nah, it's more emotionally scarring than painful. Uh, I'd imagine. <laughs> I got this from uh, one of our limbo regulars, Death Alchemist. How do you feel about Kichi stepping on your big moment? <laughs> I forgot all about this, and I was about I to say, I'm too. not asking that. Wait a minute. No, yeah, she totally did. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> she it's forgot. Looking longer than yeah. Totally not. Totally not pissed here, and totally couldn't not holding your crutch. <laughs> I couldn't hear that. <laughs> nah, so right there. I got the joke. Although it was kind of hard to take the joke at first because I was in a really bad depression. And then when I came home, it's like, oh, Kichi made a video about me. And then I thought, it's like, <laughs> now my day is worse. <laughs> Aww. 
Kichi makes. It's like, well, if I knew this was, if I knew this was going to be the case, then I would have done something even more egotistically dramatic. (laughs) (laughs) I would have made myself look even more like a bitch if I knew that was the concept. That's the 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 point. I I, I couldn't let you know what it was. (laughs) As as you'll you'll see in a lot of my videos, I troll people quite a bit. She does. Troll. 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 Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Shut up, Mokuba. I, I, I have one question left. I'm thinking about skipping this one. Uh-oh. Eh, what is it? I want to hear just oh, for the yeah, sake. Yeah, sure. Of it. I could always edit it out. Uh, did you hear a certain someone is becoming a community guest at Crystal Mountain Pony Con? Ooh. Actually, I knew that when she first told me ever so months ago, and I'm still sort of pissed about it. <laughs> I mean, it's not even the fact that that you-know-who person is going to be a community guest, because apparently there's that one person who liked her work. It was more for the fact, like, after a couple of weeks of being on the MBS show... She was all, oh, Sassy, I can get Silver Cool to say hi to you. Fuck you uh. too, bitch. <laughs> Ouch. Do I have a kicker Thanks. of a question to ask? If I'm if out. I'm it's all you, baby. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on Rule 34? Oh, jeez. I trapped to it. Well, okay. okay then. Has anyone <laughs> okay. ever turned your OC into a guy? Huh? I was just about to ask what your thoughts were on Rule 63 and what would a Rule 63 Sapphire look like? Shining armor. Oh, I already had like a Rule 63 <laughs> a very, very long time ago. Um, I believe I named it Azure Star Aria. This was made before Aria Blaze was a thing. My god. Ugh. Aria, like this day Aria? Arya, yeah, like that. Yeah. I I figured SHS ASA. That hurts. (laughs) So, uh, let's see here. Shit. I had something I forgot it. Hmm. You ever have one of those moments where you're looking through Roll 34 and you're like, if I knew who this artist was, I'd commission this. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling, and this is a sort of, um, I don't really know how to describe it. I'd be too afraid to uh, commission someone to do Rule, 60, Rule 64 art of me. <laughs> okay, for example, for 64 not 64, again? 34. 34, oh, okay. I, I mean, I wouldn't right. mind if somebody did it, but at the same time, I'd be too afraid to commission it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Rule 16 I don't know, I felt really thing. fucking bold whenever I asked uh, Aeon of Dreams to do uh, a request for my Rosie <laughs> Sof Nobody's oh getting that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was more of an experiment. Is that Shining Armor? No, that's that's um. It's, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's why I said I was like, "Oh, what do you think I was talking about?" And I was like, "This is amazing." <laughs> it's very cute. Wait a minute, who's this over? Who's this artist? Uh it's a compilation, but they're all like high classy kind of stuff. You can just search Google for the image, and it'll probably lead you to the artist. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um. I bounced my Google searches from another search engine for privacy. Okay. It doesn't have that feature. Oh. Well, Kichi. Um, if you could turn one person's OC into a girl or a boy, their opposite gender, who would it be? Ooh, that's good. Not me. <laughs> it has to be someone who already hasn't had, who hasn't had it done already. 
Well, I'd say manga common, but Secret Dreamer already did something. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, Some you were going to do that, if you are going to do that to Aino, you would still make it a trap, so it would look essentially the same minus... <laughs> you I know what basically it looks like a male and a female's body. You know what? That. I'm just saying. <laughs> ah. John Fox, I, I don't know really this know artist. anyone. Yeah, no, the, the I way I would do that, that the way I would do that picture is I would make it a three panel and I would go to freaking goddamn have Actually has Golden Fox had that right now? What? Has Golden Fox had that treatment? <laughs> What I'm you? sure he has. R63? Been... I've yeah. done a picture of R63 Golden Fox. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything. Actually, no, Donut. Because he's <laughs> there. I don't and think I doubt... anyone's done Donut. I've done. I doubt he drew well, Donut. you drew Donut and Drag. That's not quite the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not quite. <laughs> Almost, but not quite. You don't have boobs. I'm sorry, Donut. <laughs> Well, uh, I think I, uh, Princess Heather Blossom did, so I, yeah, you can't do it to me. Yeah. No, no, Sapphire, better, better question. How big would yeah. Donut's boobs be? Ah, oh, son <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> well, knowing the work that Donut does, I'd say an A, I'd say a A to B cup because he's jealous that all of the girls that he draws does not have are have bigger <laughs> boobs. Ah. <Aww. laughs> Like, or even better, he draws, he would draw himself with bigger boobs because he's secretly jealous of all the other big boobs. Uh, <laughs> or fantasizes himself with big boobs. Donut has a boob inferiority fine. complex. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Donut is already a boob, so everything's fine. Uh, I know, right? Uh, what a boob. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I think we're done. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I'm surprised well, nobody's asking you about my beard fetish. <laughs> what? <laughs> Her beard fe- fetish. So I heard through the I heard through the, uh, the the grapevine somewhere that you had a beard <laughs> fetish. What's up with that? I blame the fact that I grew up in a biker family, <laughs> and almost every man I knew during that time had a beard. So it feels weird when a man does not have a beard. You heard it here, everyone. Sapphire Heart Song loves beards. She's all about that facial hair. Actually, it was my mom's birthday uh, last weekend, and almost everyone had shown up, like my family-wise, or at least like friends who have been classified as family, and everybody had a beard, so I had a blast just... Feeling all of the man, all the men in my family's facial hair, <laughs> and because you know, it's family, they really didn't care. So <laughs> women the... in your family have facial hair. Women, Ooh. no. Okay, at least no, it's curious. no, we wax. All right, it's all about them beards. About them beards. No stubble. 